What's up, YouTubes? Mountain Magic Man here, and it's that time of year for a master set. Iconic Masters. This is the wrong purple box. Okay, move that out of the way. There she is. Look at this thing. I love the artwork on the box. I think it's pretty sweet looking. I was not expecting, though, how much larger the box actually is. I mean, it just dwarfs it. Dwarfs it, dwarfs it, not important. But quite a bit longer. Obviously taller. Just surprising. Surprising to see the difference. But yeah, let's let's just get to it. These things are not cheap, but they're cheaper than other master sets I've I've heard. <gasps> Come on. Um and I, I don't know what the price is on a lot of the cards, but I just know mana drain is the like end all be all. If you get a mana drain, life's good. If you don't get a mana drain, life may not be good. And look at how neat the packs are organized. They're all like front and center. Okay, let's just let's just pull these guys out. Now again, this is my first Masters box I've ever bought, so I don't know really what a lot of the cards are in it. I've just kind of seen the general, a few of the spoilers, nothing too much. And I didn't really play Magic probably from every set that these cards are going to contain or this set's going to contain cards from. So, I'm just excited for the foils. I'm excited for hopefully pulling some sweet cards. Let's just let's just get into it. You know, this is this is some quality stuff. Test your deck among friends. That's probably a good way to lose friends, you know. And I'm going to I'm going to try to admire some of the, this artwork here. Man, like that's a cool card. And the foils, I'm always a big fan of the foils. As some of you may know, if you've watched more than one of these videos. Ooh, Magus of the Moon. Isn't this a good pull? I think that's a good pull. Sustainer of the Realm. And a Beast Token. Not bad. How should we do this? How should we divide it up? Yeah, yeah. We'll just put the rares and foils over here. And any other card that I don't know is worth money to the right. Shall we? Man, it has been a rough, rough week at work, but we got Thanksgiving to look forward to in a couple days, so that's pretty exciting. I am definitely looking forward to some, ooh, double dual and so cool. Looking forward to some turkey. Aether Vial? That's a good card. That's, we are two for two, my friends. This is, this is making up for that Ixalan box that I opened up not too long ago for the draft. Aether Vial? I don't even, what does this card even do? It's awesome. That's what it does. It, it, it's awesome. Aether Vial. For one, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a charge counter on Aether Vial. Tap it. You may put a creature card with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters from your hand onto the battlefield. And it only costs one to get out. Wow. Okay. We are... We're doing good so far. I would say so. The magic community is talking. Join the conversation. Wow. These artworks are pretty sweet. Another Duskdale Worm. I feel like I've already got three of those. Child of the Night. Yona's Judgment. Okay. I don't really know what uncommons are good or not good. Amira Angel. Flying. It's got Landfall. We like Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, you may put a... Wow. That actually seems pretty decent. And we got the dude from Monsters, Inc. All right. We'll take that and a bird token. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's convenient. We got the bird token with the creature that creates the bird tokens. So far, I'm pretty stoked on these three, three packs. Let's see what number four's got. Ooh, this is a good card, isn't it? If we were to pull it. Your source for all things magic. MagicTheGathering.com. That is pretty on the nose, if you ask me. Getting those uncommon dualies. I don't think this is a very good card, but that's all right. You can't win them all. That is a sweet foil. Oh my goodness. That is so sweet looking. Look at this thing. Electrolyze. The blue and red. Looks sweet. Deals two damage divided as you choose. This I think this is a pretty solid card. And I like that they put the blue and red at, you know, in order of the blue and red. I can dig it. I think the Electrolyze is by far my favorite art thus far that we've of the cards we've pulled. Jace's Phantom, Dragon Egg. I gotta make a dragon deck for the lady friends. So this, 
I think is a great card. I've seen some deck videos out there by some other pretty sweet content creators, and those always seemed like a staple. Sierra Senate, this is another good card! Oh man, we are lucking out, my friends. Ooh, and a dragon token. Take that. Okay, we're... Honestly, I think we're doing not too shabby. I mean, I think the Aether Vial alone was the entire value of the Ixalan box I just opened up not too long ago. Oh, man. Any of these cards good? Don't know, don't know, don't know. Not sure if this card's good. So for 5 and a blue, you get a 5-5 five, five flying. When it dies, gain control of target creature. That actually doesn't seem like the worst thing. And a foil dragon's egg. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Wow, this card, this dragon's egg feels like it's like twice as thick. This camera's not focusing, but this thing feels so thick. Wow, I'm actually impressed. That's like, I'm having flashbacks to the good old days of magic when I was a youngin playing. 24-7-365. All right, we're going to kind of skip the commons, shall we? Windfall, cool. Illusionary Angel, Overgrown Battlement, Consecrated Finx. Ooh, we got our first Mythic. For four and two blue flying, whenever an opponent draws a card, you may draw two cards. Okay. And Blaine Wings Thrall. All right. Wow, that token even felt really nice. Okay, we'll put the Mythics out a little bit, shall we? Let's move this up. Oop, we've ruined it. We've ruined it. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, peoples. How's your week been? Are you on a short week because of the holiday? I hope you are. If you're not because you're like in some critical, high importance role, like a clinical role or... Ooh, a Mishra's Bobble. This is a valuable card, yeah? We'll just kind of throw you down here. Nice. Um, then I commend you. This is, I don't think, a very valuable card. But again, can't win them all. Take that angel token. So we got one Mythic out of this row and an Aether Vial, which might as well be a Mythic with how valuable it is, question mark. If it still is, actually, I don't really check prices very often. I'm not super concerned about that. It's more about the fun. It's more about building decks and drafting and having a grand old time. Another uncommon. Ooh! We got a good land and another foil uncommon. Grove of the Burn Willows. First of all, this is just amazing looking art. And that is a creepy looking art. I'm s man, this is a pretty solid box so far. Can we be happy? I think we should be happy. We should be pretty happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another dragon's egg. Okay, you know, you gotta look for the silver linings. Those commons and uncommons that you haven't gotten before. Lightning Helix. Got the unfoiled version. Ooh, this is another valuable card, yeah? Yeah, we'll put that over there. Restoration Angel. For three and white, you get a three, four flash flying. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-angel creature you control. Then return that to the battlefield under your control. I don't know if that's good or bad or what. Dragon spells. Good card for the dragon deck. We're I think we're pulling cards that we actually like want to get. We're pulling cards that are good just to get from a value perspective. But again, that's not our main focus. Guys. Guys and gals. Peoples watching. So far, I'm pretty excited about this box. Pretty excited. Doorkeeper. That's Mike from Monsters, Inc. And what is this? This is another one of them not-so-good dragon spirits, but dragon. Take dragon. Festering Newt. All right, all right. A little anticlimactic, but that is quite all right. If you guys ever watch Elf Investments, that dude has his pack opening skills down to an art form. Oh, that's some cool art. Claustrophobia. I like that. I like that. Fog bank. Cool. Ooh, that is some sweet artwork. What are you for four and a blue? Four one flash. Whenever it's still damaged, draw that many cards. Wow. Okay, not bad. Archangel of Thune. Are you good? For three and two white. Flying lifelink. Whenever you gain life, put a one one counter on each creature you control. Yeah, you seem pretty sweet. And a Flusterstorm? This is a good rare, isn't it? Counter target spell or sorcery unless its controller pays one. Yeah, well, the foil rare. Okay, we'll pop that off that side. Off camera view, perfect. That was a great pack. 
yeah. Archangel of Thune. Is this a great name? Kind of like a Thune from Skyrim, right? Right? Okay. No bad jokes. That's all I have for bad jokes. Oh, wait, that was an uncommon. Yeah. Nope, Pillar Flame. Wind Shards. That's just a sweet card. If I get that foil, I'll be pretty stoked. Condescend? Condescend? <laughs> Sphinx. Oh, we got two of this guy? Boo. Furnace Whelp. That's just a cool little cute dragon. All right, all right. What's that? What's next? Oh, oh, oh. I feel like we've definitely not had the best of luck when it comes to the duplicates of rares we've gotten. But you can't win them all. Another bobble. That's not bad at all. Palladimir. Ooh, is this one of the good ones? I th don't know. I think I must might feel a little silly for not knowing. You can get a colorless or tap it and add a white. Only if you control an island or add a blue. Only if you control planes. That seems like a cool card. So far we've got two cool looking lands. Dually land kind of things. Are they considered dual lands? This is how naive I am to the world of magic. Sustainer of the realm. I'm just excited to go through like all these commons in detail. Obviously I'm not going to sit here and read each one in depth on camera. Because one, YouTube will probably not allow a three hour video to go up. Lord of the Pit, there's some nostalgia for you. That's pretty awesome. And Foil Duel Land. That's some sweet artwork for sure. Wait, wait, wait. Enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, return a land to control to its owner's hand, but then you get to tap it for two mana. That's actually not terrible, yeah? If you can get it out turn two and not put a two drop down, because who needs two drops? <laughs> I mean, just skip right to turn three. Come on, guys. Shimmering Grotto. I kind of like when they do this color on each half of the card. I think it looks pretty sweet. All right. All right. Ooh, ooh. Charmbreaker Devils. I don't know if this is a good card at all. Draconic Roar. I think we're getting some pretty sweet dragon-specific cards. So the lady friend's got to be happy with that. All right. Are we down to the last column? Three, six, seven, eight. Have I just not been paying attention to what packs I'm opening? Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. No, this is the last column. Eight in each, not twelve. Math is hard sometimes, guys. Math is hard. All right. Oop, oop, oop. Skip through the commons. Jungle Barrier, Hunting Pack. That's cool art. Heroes Bane, cool art. And that is just a beastly looking creature. What are you? For two, two black and two red, you get a six, six flyer. When it enters the battlefield, discard your hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card discarded this way. That seems interesting. Oh, that is a sweet-looking foil. I don't know if this card's any good. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Sure. I don't know why. I'm really digging that art. That hand. Whatever this thing it's destroying. And we got our classic Dijian Monk. All right. I feel like the packs have cooled off a little bit. That's okay. Let's just We're just going to shift all that up. Just shift. Shift it up. But we got, we're on 7th to last pack. Dragon Tempest, good card for us deck-wise. Fairy, Mage of Zephyr. I'm assuming the 2 and 3 blue means it's not the greatest card. And a Brogdon Hellkite. Okay, we'll take that. Another Foil Rare. I don't think you can complain when you get two Foil Rares. Especially when we got, I think, a pretty solid first Foil Rare. No complaints here, Capitan. Another disenchant, of course. Ooh, another th Thran Dynamo. Okay, and... Ooh! <sighs> this is a good box, my friends. This... Look at this print. This thing looks like it got smudged over. I don't even care. I'm so excited right now. Ancestral Vision? Like, what? Guys... If we were doing that booster box game, shout out to Tolarian Community College. That dude just makes, um, the professor makes amazing content. But, man. We got a pretty amazing box. If we were doing the booster box game, I think we'd get our money. And then some, ooh, here's our next mythic. Five and two black for a six six that has Swamp Walk. Beginning of your upkeep. Return target creature guard from your graveyard to the battlefield. Not shabby. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. Wow, so that's like 
bomb city. You get that off, obviously, they're going to need to deal with it ASAP. But when it costs 7 mana, you'll get it out by, like, turn 4, right? Pretty easy. Getting mana leaks for days. Wait, what was this? Wild size. Is that an old art? I feel like it is, because that's an awesome art. What's up? What's up? Hey, Mike. Bye, Mike. Another Mur Mir. Austere command. Is this a good command? The white one? To choose two. All artifacts. Destroy all enchantments. Destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less or four or greater. Okay. I think that's one of the better commands. I think the blue one's the go-to. Ooh. All right, we got... This is our third to last pack, so let's just let's just keep it going. Let's finish strong. Come in. What's ooh, evolving wilds. I'm I need to get some of these because I'm one of the weirdo people that doesn't actually have any. But what's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? For me it's just just turkey. Just turkey with some mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm-mm-mm. Blood Baron Viscopa. I don't know if that's actually a good card, but it's a vampire, so. I'm excited to build a vampire deck at some point. All right, all right. Man, these artworks are all pretty awesome. I think the artwork in this set, Arc Champion, this is a good card, isn't it? Mindstone's a sweet looking card. Man, these cards just feel way thicker than the Ixalan and whatnot. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the card quality here. All right, up next, the last booster pack. All right, guys, let's just play 24-7, 365, whatever that means. Because you got to sleep at some point. That's a little silly. Star Compass, that's a cool-looking card. Surreal Memoir, we got that foil. Electrolyze, our favorite card. What's our last rare? Another Mythic. All right, sweet. Urbrask the Hidden. For three and two red, you get a 4-4. Four, four. Creatures you control have haste, not bad. Creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tap. All right, not bad. And our last foil, Grizzly Spectacle. I like that this dude's like, hey, don't take a picture, don't look, when it's clearly a time before they had pictures or cameras to take pictures. I'm smart. Wow, so let's let's just recap. If you've watched up to this point, I greatly appreciate it. You're an amazing human being. Let's just recap. Okay, so we got that. I'm just going to go with the cards that I think are worth more than a couple bucks. Yes, uh, Mythic will put you up there. You're definitely worth more than a couple bucks. Not too sure. Not too sure. Not too sure. Lord of the Pit, just because you're nostalgic and cool. Nimbus Maze, definitely. Don't think so. Nice. Don't think so. Not sure. Grove of the Burn Willows, yes. Nope. Consecrated Finks, I'm not sure. Kika the Tide Star, Sarah Ascendant, very nice. Don't think so. Not sure. Aether Vial, definitely. Magus the Moon, not shabby. And then foils. Let's just ch double check the foils. Oh, wait, you're a mythic. Let's get you out where the mythics belong. There's another one in there somewhere. Oh well. All the all the foils though kind of look like they got too much ink on the print. Yeah, that's all right. There's a foil rare. Not sure if you're worth anything. I'm not sure if these foil uncommons I got were worth anything. There's another foil rare. I think that's actually a good card in general. Blade Wings Thrall, Dragon's Egg, Electrolyze. I'm going to check on you. Man, I think overall this was a pretty solid box value-wise. Um, I just appreciate all you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. But at the end of the day, I hope you all just have a good day. I hope you're having a good life. Hope life's treating you well. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, I'll see you in the next Booster Box video or pack video or whatever comes next. I don't know. I got some stuff coming in from eBay. We shall see what's coming down the line. That's how the saying goes. But, yeah, let me know if you got feedback, if you want me to open something, just anything, you know. Hope you're well. Have a great Thanksgiving. Peace.